The greatest tacticians of footballing history have come from all facets of life. While many were former players, others never stepped foot on a professional pitch. And then who would have thought that a humble translator would go on to be one of the greatest managers of our time? This is the story of finding genius in unlikely places. Far east from the bright lights of Europe, 20 years ago, a prodigy footballing mind was born. If he had been born amongst the giants of Europe, or the footballing hungry nations of South America, his talents would have been kindled down the path of becoming a manager. But since he was born in the football tepid land of Japan, he might have gone his whole life without fulfilling his destiny. But fate will give this young man the opportunity to step onto the world footballing stage. This is the story of the next Mourinho. Big news coming in from Japan. The proud team of Gamba Osaka have fallen on hard times. The team seems to be in turmoil after a poor finish from last season and reports of a toxic changing room that has seen the manager resign just after one match, a 4-0 drumming. Now with no manager willing to touch the team, ticket sales have plummeted and with pressure to recoup losses on their brand new stadium, the board of directors have resulted to an outrageous publicity stunt. They have decided to give a fan I repeat, a fan, a chance to manage one of the games. As they scramble to find a caretaker manager, the contest to see who would manage was held via a tournament in All-Star Football Manager, a popular tactical football app in Japan. And we are going to report in live right now as the Gamba Osaka board are about to announce the winner of the tournament and their new manager. What do we have here? Well, sir, the first place winner of the tournament and the new manager uh, is a team called Harambe Mikarambe Face. We've done a little research, and uh, the user is a 20-year-old 7-Eleven clerk. His name is... A convenience store clerk. Brilliant. Well, let's get this depressing charade over with. Uh, sir, there's, there's one more thing. What? This man... And I want to preface this by saying it's only a video game. But he didn't just win the tournament. He won every single game. And every match, he won by over 10 goals. Very interesting. What is his name, this? His name is Akari. Akari Mugen. It is a great honor to manage a team with such a legacy as the Gamba Osaka. I think it is natural to be a skeptical of my appointment. So, Alright, listen to me carefully. I am tired. Of you all disrespecting me and my team. We will not lose. We will not play defensively. We will play fluid football. And we will win 2 to 0. Now remember the name Igare Mui. Because this will not be the last time you hear it. Hello and welcome to my FIFA 17 Storyline Career Mode. My name is Akari Mugen. Yes, I'm speaking a little bit more fluently because honestly, I don't think you want to hear this voice the whole entire time I speak. So I'm going to be speaking in my normal voice, but, you know, don't get it twisted. Akari Mugen coming for that ass. Now guys, this is going to be a true manager road to glory career mode. I don't plan to stay in Japan for that long. In fact, honestly, I feel like it's been holding me back for the past 20 years anyway. My dreams, my aspirations are to become 
The next Jose Mourinho. He is my idol. He is a special one in my heart and in my pants. And I want to do everything in my power to become like him. I want to go overseas to Europe, to Italy, to Germany. And the grand goal to Spain and to England. And I want to coach, I want to coach the biggest teams in Europe. And I want to capture silverware. I want to capture Champions League glory. And I want to revolutionize the game. I'm, you know, I'm not the most humble person, but I honestly do feel like I can revolutionize the tactics in the game. How do I know this? Well, my experience up to now is absolutely smashing on noobs on a handheld app. You know, a handheld football tactical app. Besides that, n not much more experience, but now I've been given the opportunity to go ahead and coach a professional team, and I'm going to seize this opportunity by the balls. And if this, if you're a true believer, if you believe that I can become the next great tactical footballing genius, subscribe to this channel. Smash out that like so you do not miss a single episode of my journey all the way to the top. It's going to be epic, lads. It is going to be absolutely epic. Much like my prediction, I said 2-0 in my next match. You know, I kind of said it because they were pissing me off. But I think we can actually do it. I honestly do. The squad that we are given at Gambo Osaka, it's... It's for the league. I feel like if I can find specialists within the squad, we can get this working and done. Let's check out what the board expectations want us to do. As you can see right here, they want us to reach in the J League, reach the playoff final. That's not all too bad. And then reach the semifinals in the other League Cup. Financials, no objectives. All right, no pressure there. And then short term, we need one Youth Academy player. To gain at least five overall points and play in at least five matches. So we go ahead, we need to go ahead and get a youth scout going relatively quickly. And then for brand exposure, we need to sign one player, preferably in a forward position. And we have no continental success. So, I mean, all these are very nice. I need to win this one game. It's clear and simple. If I can win this game, I think I can turn the heads. I think I can convince them to keep me on. Because who else is taking who else is taking this dump job right now? They're literally letting me, a fan, manage the team. So, we gotta do it. One game to win it. If we lose, this might be the one episode. <laughs> so we better we better back up that 2-0 up. We better back up that 2-0 prediction. Now as you can see right here, this is going over the squad. It's not the fanciest squad. This is the J League. You know, no disrespect to the J-League, but we have some good players. We have Yoshito, Yasuhito Endo over here at 73. He is a Japanese international. He is pretty good technically. Imagine if you know Honda. Imagine a slower, not as handsome version of Honda right there. He can play the cam position. And we have this very promising young striker, the Brazilian, Adam Milson. Good ball control. Very good pace, 92 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, and he's got 4 star skill moves, 5-9, 74 rated, 22, has potential maybe to even grow a little bit more. He is definitely someone that I want to go ahead and take a look at. We're going to go ahead and put him on a short loan. I'm doing this to try to loan glitch him that's still in the game, guys. I'm going to be maximizing every single little tactic, every single little thing. I'm a dirty player, I don't, I'm a dirty manager, I'm gonna be doing as much as humanly possible to go ahead and maximize these squads. Cause there's a reckoning. Right now this is a squad that I have, but I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking that probably not everyone is gonna be staying on the squad. I need specialists. I'm modeling my game after Jose Mourinho in certain facets. In other facets, I don't like how defensively Jose plays. I very much want to play attacking style football. And that means even with the squad that I have now, with not the best center backs, I'm going to be playing three in the back. We're going to be playing at 3 5 2, much like Juventus is probably the biggest one over here. I'm going to need three solid center backs, two solid CDMs, a good cam, and then basically our wingers are going to be uh, wing backs. 
in this formation. Do we have the personnel to do this? We're about to find out. One game. One game uh, up against our rivals. One of our rivals. This will Kobe. I'd be lying. I'd be lying if I'm not a little bit nervous going into this. This is a go. Our captain, the Japanese international, the number seven of our squad. He seems calm. He seems cool. And look at that. I'm liking that. I'm liking a little of the pixel art, obviously. You know, we're not as strong pulling in the seats as, as we usually are because of how crap that Gambo Saka have been over the past couple seasons. But this is the formation that we're going with. And Vassel Kobe have very, very, I've been doing, I've been doing my tactical scouting. I'm going to be doing as much tactical scouting as possible. Have two very strong, uh, quick Brazilian strikers up top. So we're going to go ahead and have to be mindful of them. Now look at this. Go ahead and flip it away. And then Adam Wilson. Good danger, but you know, not too much sting behind it. Now onto the ball. Endo flipping over into the middle. Beautiful stuff from Adam Wilson once again and absolutely drags the shot. But seven minutes, two chances, two chances created. Not all too bad, but then a sloppy giveaway. As I said, we do not have the best center backs. Playing three in the back, we are opened up and lucky there not to go ahead and concede. Remember, I had a 2 0 victory prediction. The nil part, so I'm getting right on both sides, half. unfortunately. In the second half, we're going to have to turn up. Probably put it up to attacking. Now a center. It was like, there we go. A set piece in the second half. 52 minutes. Puts into the middle. And once again, Sky trying to take it off of the volley. But now, as you can see right here, flipping around. Just looking patient play. We were playing a lot more patient in the second half. Going ahead and flipping it over. Not trying to force it. Looking for the pass lanes inside. Cut inside. Tando! There we go! There we go! The Japanese International and our captain coming through. Great patient play, great patient buildup. And there we go. The killer pass from there. Adam Wilson could have gone for the shot right there. Instead, fake shots inside and lays off a little dicky pass. Intricate stuff. He knows that he doesn't have the space. He's getting closed down. Five holes the defender. Low driven finish is true. We need a goal. We need one more. I'm gonna be looking like a genius in a second. All right, now we're finding a little bit of attacking. Adam Milson in the danger zone of where he was pretty much last time we scored. Attacking to the byline, he's doubled up, so he is gonna come back to the top of the box. Finds Hulu Fernando, almost a identical goal. My God, 2 nil. 74th minute. Could that be it? Could that be it? And the crowd absolutely seems absolutely going mad. They heard the press. They heard the presser. They heard a young convenience store clerk predicted 2 0. And there we go. Look up. Look up on the scoreboard right now. 2 0. And all we have to do is hold. But can we hold, lads? Can we be doing that? Flipping it over to the middle. Gets going ahead. Take it away from it, Patrick. Goes ahead, flips it over. Endo is there. <laughs> <laughs> Managing's easy. Managing is easy, guys. Look at that. Lucky, good attacking that aggressive stuff from Patrick pressing that back line. Endo gets taken down. Can I get a hat trick? He does. Barely pinging it off of the post. Do it. I'm not going to be doing it all the time. But go on, son. Go on and dab with your bad self. Well, bad news is. My 2-0 prediction is now wrong. It's now wrong. Good news is, I think I might get another game as manager, guys. I think I might just get another game as manager. Absolutely dominant. And a hat trick for our captain and the number seven of our squad. What a debut. What a turnaround. A team that has been absolutely shambolic for the past season. A team, a team that has that lost in the previous match. A team that can't even fell at their brand new stadium. And look at us. 3-0. And trying out new tactics. With the same squad. We can't make any transfers right now. But look at this. Trying to go ahead and get one out. Please keep. Please keep it. Please keep my whole dig. And it flies. Inside. And that's the thing, man. They've had their chances. It's just they haven't been able to put it away. 
and that does concern me. Three in the back, we're probably going to have to be outscoring a lot of teams, but for now, 3-0. Not all too bad. Not all too bad for my debut and a good first game. Now, do I keep the job? Or are they like, hey, you got lucky, you did a good job, but, you know, we're going to actually find someone who's actually done this before. Well, we're going to have to find out in the next episode. That's it, guys. That is going to be ending episode one of the building of the next Jose Mourinho career mode. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash out that like button because it took a lot of work to go ahead and edit those cutscenes. And guys, as a thank you to all you guys, I'm going to be doing this. For all you guys who have stuck around to the end of this career mode, don't tell no one. I'm giving away another copy. Yes, a second copy of FIFA 17 for all you diehards out there. I've been having an amazing time at the start of FIFA 17. I want to give it back to you guys. So, this is the Storyline Career Mode. Much like the Manchester United Career Mode that we're doing on the other side. I want you to go ahead and leave a hashtag suggestion down in the comments down below. So you go ahead and you do that. And in one week's time, if I liked your suggestions and they make it into this storyline career mode, then you will win a copy of FIFA 17 console of your choice. But anyway guys, my name is Beamus. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself. Stay humble. Be weird. <laughs>